Welcome. And to be joining us here in the evening, right? Last time when Dr. Bill was here with us, we were in the middle of the day. So I know many folks couldn't make it, but he's so excited to be here for this course. Um, but uh, before we get started, though, um, I, and before I kick it over to Dr. Abdul to really kind of lead us into uh, our journey over the next, where are we, eight weeks, right? <laughs> next eight <laughs> weeks. <laughs> um, I first just wanted to uh, thank the team, the SJP team, for just really helping pull all of this together, the behind the scenes work that really went into everything, uh, the pro bono uh, ASL folks who are here um, giving us all, all the love here. And, um, yeah. And before I, I kind of move into the course itself, I wanted to, um, check in with Michelle. Michelle, do you have any other, any tech things you want folks to know about before we get started? Yeah. Uh, so I was going to type this in the chat, but for those who need captions, we also have a live captioner. Uh, thank you so much to our captioners. In order to enable that, uh, you'll just want to look at the bottom of your screen um, and click the live transcript button, and that should be able to pop up for you. Otherwise, enjoy. Yes. Okay, great. Short and sweet. So I'm going to jump right in because I know we all want to just really make the most of our time here. Um, and I know Dr. Abdullah has so much to, to offer us here, but this course is called Black Feminism uh, and Womanism as Liberatory Practice. And it's a lecture discussion by Dr. Abdullah. Um, he's here with us. Hey, Dr. Abdullah. Um, so I'm actually going to hand it over to her directly just so that you can do your magic and in the meantime if anybody has any questions or need any support from me i'm here in the chat feel free to dm me and i can help you get whatever it is that you need all right dr dula it's all yours Great. thank you so much ali and i'm so excited to be with you all um some of you are familiar faces so thank you for coming back if you were in the Black Power class last year, um, which actually started one year ago to the day. So this is the day. And I think um, I'm going to just say I'm going to invoke Prince's spirit because this is Prince's angel versary. Um, April 21st is the day that we lost him. So April 21st just so happened to be the start of the class last year on Black Power and the start of the class this year, um, which I'm calling Teaching Bell Hooks, Black Feminism and Womanism as Liberatory Praxis, Praxis. So both the way we think, both, both how we theorize around things and how we move things. Um, and I think there's still some people in the waiting room. So I don't know who's um, letting folks in, but I see six people um, in the waiting room. So if we could let them in, that would be great. Um, so I'm grateful that so many of you are returning. Uh, also grateful to see some folks that I know from my campus who um, could probably co-teach this class with me. Good to have you. And from my uh, new campus, Prairie View A&M University, I see Bakita on. So glad to have you. Um, I'm not leaving Cal State LA, but for the last year, I've been the activist in residence at Prairie View A&M University. I've been able to visit that campus in person um, twice now, just got back last week um, and been visited virtually now four times. So I'm claiming the Prairie View Panthers is home as well. Um, <clears throat> I also pray that the words that come out of my mouth and the energy that we bring um, is a way of honoring the spirit of bell hooks and all of our black feminist and womanist foremothers, whether they call themselves womanists or feminists or not. I pray that we honor them with this class, with the energy that we're bringing in, with the energy that we're trying to bring into the world. And so I wanna start just a little intentionally, no, not a little intentionally, intentionally um, by um, beginning us with a um, grounding. And um, I'm gonna pull up a screen. I won't share a lot of slides. 
slides because this is our first meeting. So you will not have read anything or weren't asked to read anything for, um, for today. Um, but we're going to make sure that we start intentionally. I think about bell hooks and I think about how she was so precise in so much of what she did. Um, let me see if I can. Um, and so in everything that she did, and I want to um, honor that um, and try to make sure we do as much of that as we can. Um, let's see. This is weird how it's sharing. Let's see if it'll let me just do it. There we go. Okay, can everybody see that? And I'd like for us to begin as a praxis um, and practice, making sure that we understand the space as collective space. Bell Hooks in her work, Killing Rage, Ending Racism, talks about the difference between academic space and intellectual space. This is absolutely intellectual space, meaning that this space is intended to be a shared space where we engage our minds as one tool of revolution, but it's not meant to be an exclusive space. It's not meant to be a higher Uh -oh. hey, so can you hear me? You broke up. You broke up for a minute, Melanie. Can you hear me now? Yep, you're good. Great. Um, so we're we're all engaging in this space. So I want to say that if you need to come off mute and speak, please do that. Um, this again is a shared space of um, intellectual skill building so that we can use intellectual tools to move forward the task of revolution, which is necessary if we're all to get free. Does that make sense to everybody? And you can just um, signal by, let me do a stop share, signal by um, raising your hands or giving me a thumbs up. I don't want you to think that this is going to be a lecture where I'm going to talk and everybody else is going to listen. We're all going to engage collectively if we can. And I'll also admit um, one of the things that we're engaging with is, is this book, um, All About Love, which is one of my favorite Bell Hooks texts. And in All About Love, she talks about the importance of truth telling. Um, the importance of truth telling. So in that spirit, I'm going to admit I am not 29 years old. And so I say that to say, you can type in the chat if you want to, and I may or may not be willing, be able to read what's in the chat. And so I want to encourage you to come off mute, to um, raise your hands and speak as long as it's not disruptive to um, a thought, because again, I'm not 29, um, that we are engaging in this process collectively. Does that work for everyone? Yes, I see thumbs ups. Great, great. And again, I want to thank Pro Bono ASL for being our partners in this journey, for bringing us some language justice. I want to thank Social Justice Partners for inviting me back. Um, I say, you know, you know what we need to do? We should do a class on bell hooks. And they say, yeah, let's do it. And so I'm grateful to them as well. So um, before I talk too long, kind of introducing things that way, let's start with our grounding and then we'll, we'll introduce ourselves because we're engaging in this process collectively. Um, so I want to begin with what we call a land labor and life acknowledgement. And I'm going to um, offer this from the space that I'm usually on, um, which is Los Angeles. Um, and many of you have done land acknowledgements in the past. If you were in the last class, you remember doing these. And we're going to begin each class with this because I think it's really important. And I think it is a womanist praxis to reclaim our time and our right to be intentional in how we enter spaces. And so I invite everyone to put both of your feet on the ground, to sit upright, to straighten your spine so that air and 
can enter into your pathways. And we're gonna take a deep breath in and breathe out. And so as we just free ourselves from the busyness, from the hurried nature of our lives and reclaim who we are as human beings with a connection to the divine, we'll begin with our land acknowledgement, recognizing that this land that we inhabit is physically situated in the original ancestral homelands of the Tongva people, if you're in Los Angeles. We pay respect to the Tongva and all indigenous people, past, present, and future, and their continuing presence in the homeland and throughout their historical diaspora. And I invite you to take another deep breath in and breathe out. We pay homage to those who were stolen from Africa, placed in bondage, falsely named as chattel and forced into labor. who were called slaves, but never submitted as such. Who've always been fully human with an unbroken connection to the divine and to each other. We honor our African ancestors for the still unpaid labor, which built what is now the Americas and take another deep breath in and release. To both our indigenous and African forebears, we commit to the continued struggle for liberation and reparations, for it is only through freedom and justice that we truly give honor. Ashe. And if you all could unmute with me. Ashe. Let's all say Ashe. Many of you know that Ashe is a word of power. It's like saying Amen, Amen. It's mm -hmm. sealing in that affirmation, sealing in that grounding, um, and giving it power. And so I do want to give you all a bit of homework before we get started with the conversation, which is, again, that was a land, labor, and life acknowledgement. I noted that I um, live and work on Tongva land. If you do not know whose land you inhabit, it's your work to figure it out. So by next class, we want to make sure that everyone knows whose land they inhabit. And we wanna be very clear that this is not your land. Unless you are indigenous, this is not your land. Um, and it was never ceded to the United States. So this is not your land. So we need to acknowledge those whose land it actually is. And I believe we need to do work to return the land to the rightful stewards of this land, right? So it's not enough to simply acknowledge, we have to think about reparations and move towards reparations for indigenous people and for African people whose labor built this country. All right, um, what are we beginning with? Okay, so I really, um, thought about whether or not we have time to do introductions. And I initially said, I don't wanna use up time for introductions. And then I thought about bell hooks um, and where we're moving and whose name this class is in and what would bell hooks do, right? Bell hooks would absolutely say, if we're gonna spend eight weeks together, and I hope that we all spend eight weeks together, we should know each other. We shouldn't just be names on a screen. We should know each other and know what drove us to say every Thursday night from 7 to 8 p.m., we're going to intentionally spend time together. And all week long, we're going to do work that deepens ourselves so that we can get to a space of self-discovery, which can lead us to a space of understanding what our role is in liberation. And so I am going to facilitate a process of self-introductions. 
and ask that you all begin by giving no longer than 30 seconds of introduction of yourself. We want your name, we want your pronoun, we want where you are coming from, including whose land you're on, if you know it, and what brought you here. So your name, pronoun, where you're coming from and whose land you're on, if you know, and what brought you here, okay? What brought you here? What made you take this class? And so we're get, just gonna say, um, go for it. And whoever wants to go first, um, opening it up. Don't all jump at once. And I can only see myself and Brianna, Brianna, um, is there a way to move to a gallery view? Oh, yeah, I can move that to a gallery okay. view. Okay, so can you want, I'm gonna give you an imagine my mind, you will have an A. So who's gonna go first with the self introductions? Lita, I saw you move your hand, Lita. Does that mean you going first? I am going to do it, Melina. Okay. Um, Lita Ramos, she, hers. Um, I teach. I'm also a colleague of Melina uh, in CLS, Chicana o Latino Studies. And what brought me here, I'm on Tongva land. And what brought me here was uh, what a great opportunity to combine two amazing, uh, amazing women, bell hooks, uh, and, and Melina, <laughs> and it's that chemistry of these minds and these spirits. And I want to just, you know, just be in that space and, 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 and explore with this group. Thank you, Lita. <laughs> Anybody else wanna go second? Okay, so I'm just gonna go through my screen. Um, Vidman, will you go second? That's our captioner. Oh, captioner. Okay. Who is Felicia? Hi. Oh, it's Felicia. Hi, Felicia. I know you, Reverend. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so good to be here. Um, so uh, blessings all. Uh, my name is Felicia Perizader. My pronouns are she, her, hers, they, them, theirs. And I'm acknowledging right now the lands of the Chemawevi and the Southern Paiute. Um, and when Melina posts something, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to motivate and I'm going to move. So I saw, I saw the class, uh, posted on her Instagram and I had followed along also in, uh, when black power, uh, was going last year. So, so, uh, real grateful to be here. Thank grateful you. to have you back Rev. <laughs> Pia. Hi, everybody. Um, so glad to be here tonight. Um, my name is Pia Schiavo Campo. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm also in LA on Tongva land. And what brought me here is that I'm really trying to build on my over a decade year work around body liberation um, at the intersections of body size, race, gender, ability, and really wanting to step into my full power as a Black woman because I feel that I'm really called to. Um, to be a leader in, in my my area. So thank you. And Pia, you were in the last class, weren't you? Nope. I know your name though. Why? Maybe we know each other through social media. I don't know. That's possible. Okay. Look, yeah. we got to have you come out. I'm talking too long and eating into the time, but um, you know, we do this black radical stretch at all of our actions. We'd love to Ooh. have you come and help us with that. I'm on board. Thank All you. Right. Ebony. Uh oh, I can unmute myself. Greetings, everyone. My name is Ebony Abram. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, hers. I am on Tongva land where I live and work. And I am here because I'm excited to learn about the work of Bell Hooks. Um, and I absolutely love Dr. Molina and she is my comrade and sister and I work with her. <laughs> and so just honored to be here. And um, I'm also in a book club that, and we're reading um, All About Love. So it will just really um, enrich that experience for us. So thank you. Great, great. Christy. 
16. Hi everyone, I'm Christine Margiata, pronouns she, her. I am also on unceded Tongva land and uh, just feel incredibly privileged uh, to learn from you, Dr. Abdullah, and to get to uh, really study bell hooks in community. I feel like I've been a, a solo yeah. student of her work and, and I feel excited to dig in in community and with you. So thank you for offering this. Ashe. Betty. And Casey, I'm calling on you next. Buenas noches, everybody. My name is Betty Valencia. She, her, hers. I'm in Tonga land. Um, why I'm taking this class? One, I heard uh, Dr. Molina speak at Chapman University. Uh, I went to school there a few years back. Um, and I think that, you know, it, it was so inspiring to hear you speak then. I came into what I know now is my power very late in my life. And I just really want to sustain that with... Uh, communities like you have gathered here tonight. So very privileged to be here. Thank you for allowing me this opportunity. Thank you. Casey. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Uh, hi, Dr. Molina. Thank you so much for hosting us uh, over the course of this next eight weeks. My name is Casey Patterson. My pronouns are she, her. I'm also in Los Angeles on Tagma land uh, and Shumash land as well. And what brought me to this class, one, because Dr. Molina was teaching it and I follow her work through Black Lives Matter LA. And I'm always so inspired by the sharpness of the analysis that she brings to the work. And also because I really wanted to just explore and discover a deeper version of myself. Uh, so I'm excited to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Bakita, hey. Hello, how are y'all doing? I am Bakita Pegram. My pronouns are she and hers. Um, I just looked up the land of which I'm living in in Houston is the Kawa Wiltakan. I got to remember, I, I said, why did I get the hardest one <laughs> to pronounce? I'm, I'm going to be very intentional to get that right. But I am here because I had the pleasure of experiencing Dr. Abdullah at PV because she was our activist in residence. And she is truly inspiring. I, I find so much inspiration and encouragement in her stories. And she has encouraged me to take my activism a little bit further. And I'm looking forward to the growth that I'm going to experience because I claim the growth now, even though I don't know what it is, but I'm looking for it. And that's what I expect to get over the next eight weeks to know who I am now, because a lot of life changes have happened. When you finish a doctoral program, you have been changed. <laughs> so I'm curious to meet this new Bikita. There we go, there we go. Caitlin. Hi, my name is Caitlin. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm on the land of the Tongva and Ahashiman people. I found out about this class through Dr. Abdullah speaking at UC Irvine. I live in the dorms here at UCI, and I started following, and I go to UCI, but I started following Dr. Abdullah on Instagram, and that's how I found out that this class is happening. And I thought that it would be really cool to learn about bell hooks and all about love because I've, I've read the book all about love before but I wanted to go more in depth into what a love ethic looks like and how we can just talk about it with a group of community members. Jay, Krista and then I'm coming to you next Liz. Hi my name is Krista Kassler. Um, I'm scrolling back up because I'm nervous to look at the <laughs> it's fine. I know my name. Krista Kassler. My pronouns are she, her. I am calling in from Kansas City, Missouri. Um, I'm a clinical social worker here and I follow Dr. Molina on Instagram and I saw this pop up today and I just couldn't miss it. So um, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. And Kristen. my kids are in bed. So this is timing is perfect. <laughs> Good. I can relate. Liz. Hi, I'm Liz Vogel. My pronouns are she and her. Um, I am also on unceded Tongva land in Los Angeles. I had the privilege of participating in the Black Power course with Dr. Abdullah. Wouldn't miss the chance to come together in community and go deeper. It's been 
decade since I actually read Bell Hooks and I can't even imagine how um, much more of a nuanced and analytical and hopefully um, uh, actually transformative sort of into practice and praxis this experience can be. So thank you for having me. Thank you. Hey, Shabana, you're next. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Shabana Amir. Um, I am in Chicagoland. I'm in Evanston uh, on the lands of the Potawatomi and the Kickapoo tribes. Uh, I'm here because I teach a course in gender and Islam, and I really, really wanted to do this. Uh, I was looking for something like this, honestly. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to spend the summer doing something like this. And today, uh, four hours earlier, my friend Zara, who's here too, said, I'm joining this course. And I was like, huh, I've been looking for this course. So that's why I joined. So I was just, I don't know. I felt like I was just guided to it. And so here I am. And because I love Black women and I love womanists and feminists and yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Patty and then Jody's next. Hi, all. My name is Patty. I also was a student in the Black Power course. Um, and so I follow uh, Dr. Abdullah as well on social media. And when I saw this course um, pop up, I also said I need to enlist. Um, the reason why is because I'm trying to find myself at a deeper level, um, only because I'm a mother, a partner, and I give so much. I'm also a, a professor, a community college professor in ethnic studies. So we give so much to our students and I just really needed to do this for myself. So, um, oh, and I'm on Kiz, uh, Luiseño and Cahuilla land. Thank you. Happy to be here. Thank you. And Jody. Greetings all, I'm Jody Doan, she, her pronouns. I'm also on Tongva land. Uh, I'm here for a little bit of what everyone has said. I have uh, followed Dr. Abdullah since the Black Lives Matter movement. We have engaged through my work with League of Women Voters. Um, I know this much about the term womanism, but I'm very attracted to it. I want to learn, and I was very excited to be a part of this group and the opportunity to communicate and, and learn with and from each other. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. And we're going to go to Erica and then Natalie. Hi, thank you. Um, my name is Erica. I use she, her pronouns. I am on occupied Kalapuya territory in Corvallis, Oregon. I'm really excited about this course. So thank you for creating this space. Um, I got to listen to Dr. Abdullah speak at several actions in LA and have been following her on social media and just really inspired um, by her and also read Bell Hooks for the first time this past year and was just blown away. And so I want to engage with um, Bell Hooks' text on a deeper level. Great. Natalie and then who do we have? No, Rebecca, did we say Natalie? Natalie and then Rebecca. Hi everyone, it's so nice to be here in community and hear all your voices and see your faces. Um, my name is Natalie, my pronouns are she, her. Um, I grew up on Chumash land and I currently live in LA on Tongva land. Um, I signed up for this course because um, when I was in college, I took lots of classes with Dr. Phyllis Jackson at Pomona College and she um, resonated so deeply with me, deconstructing whiteness, examining white privilege, intersectionality. Um, it was a wonderful journey and I got to um, see Bell Hook speak in like 2002. Um, and just of course, uh, it was such a special, special experience. Um, so I just jumped at the chance when I saw this. Awesome. Thank you. Rebecca, and then is there another Caitlin? Caitlin Broom, right? Yeah, Rebecca and then Caitlin. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I use she, her pronouns. Um, I am also on Tongva land in LA. And I have been for the last year and many years continuing trying to piece together my own self-directed MFA, which I have entitled Matriarchal Art Practice. Um, and Bell Hooks is on my list of authors. And so when I saw this, I just got really excited to dive into that in a community. So thank you. Great. Caitlin and then Eric. 
Good evening, everyone. My name is Caitlin Brune, and I use she, her pronouns, and I'm standing on unceded land of the um, Rumson Ohlone, the Waswas, and the Amamutsun peoples here on the Central Coast. And yeah, someone said it so beautifully. I love Black women, Black women, feminists, and um, bell hooks, all about love, just feels like the text for time. So I'm so, so happy to be here in community and really look forward to it. Thank you, Dr. Abdullah. Thank you, Eric, and then Irene. Hello, my name is Eric and I uh, live on Antioch Tonga land and my pronouns are they, them and theirs. Um, yeah, what brought me here, this is just, I sort of just follow what's being given to me uh, and just try to show up. And this is one of those things where I've been developing um, uh, a practice that's a decolonized practice for healing arts and been trying to go back into the world with uh, a rest practice. And so I just mm -hmm. needed to learn from where that came from. So um, I've, I've been called to learn from Audre Lorde and Bell Hooks. And so this came up and I'm like, of course. So I'm grateful to be here and learning from y'all and being with you as well is a huge part that I'm honestly just now realizing that I that I really needed. So grateful to be here. Thanks. Thank you, Eric. Irene and then Jean. Hello, everybody. Um, I just want to thank you all. I want to thank you, Dr. Abdullah, for having this space. Um, my name is Irene Castaneda. I'm from Austin, Texas. Um, let's see. She, they is my pronoun. And um, on Hualtecan territory, also Apache, Comecrudo, Comanche, and Limpan Apache. Um, I was interested in taking this course because the hook really speaks to me on a level that uh, when I grew up in a tiny town in Arizona, I'm a migrant from Mexico, she really spoke to me. And I want, I want to get to know her spirit more. So I really thank you all for, for this opportunity to be here and learn with you in community. So thank you. <laughs> Jean and then Becky. All right. Becky, did you go? Is there some, it's Christine has your same last name, right? Does somebody else have your last name? Yeah, we're okay. married. Okay, I was like, I, I've seen that last name, but I don't think that was the face that went with it. Okay. Hi, Jean I'm Jean. Hi, I'm Jean Wen, and I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, I was, I, my pronouns are she, her, and I'm in Hopewell Lands. And the reason I'm taking the class is to be a better advocate for my kids and, and be, have a better voice within that community of school. So thank you. Ashe, Becky, and then Lucky. Good evening, everyone. My name is Becky Margiata. I use she, they pronouns and live um, on Tovangar, the unceded territory of the Tongva people. And um, I read all about love a long time ago and it's, it's due for a reread. And I've had uh, teaching to transgress in my, I swear I'm gonna read this next book stand night table for probably 10 years, maybe 15. And so uh, mostly I'm just here to be Christine's arm candy, um, but uh, uh, it's, Dr. Abdul, I'm really excited to learn more from you and thank you for doing this. Thank you, Lucky and then Sterling. Hi everyone, good evening. I'm Lucky Michael calling. Hi Kelly, I see you sis. <laughs> I'm Lucky, I'm calling from uh, San Diego, Kumai, Kumai Island, and I'm a huge fan of yours, Dr. Abdullah. Ramadan Robotic to you. I took the Black Power Collective um, last year and was really moved by that. So I'm excited to be with everyone and learn and grow together. Thank you. And Sterling and then Kelly. Hey, hey how's it going, everybody? Uh, my name is Sterling. My pronouns are he and him. I'm calling in from uh, Chimafau, 
excuse me, Chima Phone Land. Uh, and I am here because this is where the work is. Um, you know, it's, it's really important that I show up to spaces and places like these. And, you know, my wife put me on and I said, I can't miss it. So I'm just happy to be here. Sorry, dealing with uh, COVID. Please wear your mask. So uh, that's it. Thank you, Sterling. Kelly and then Heather. Hey, everyone. Good evening. I'm Kelly. My pronouns are she, her. I'm on Tongva land. And yeah, I'm with Sterling and everyone else. I'm just glad to be in the number. I'm just proud to be here tonight. Thanks, Dr. Abdullah, for hosting us. Thank you so much, Heather. And then who's next? My screen keeps moving. Heather and then Tanya. Hey, Tanya. Hi, my name is Heather. I, uh, my pronouns are she, her. I'm on Tongva land here in Los Angeles. Um, I'm a law student and I'm also a union organizer by trade. And um, I've read both of these books, but I really um, view them as like as living works. And I know that there's so much more that I have to learn uh, that I can bring to the work that I do. So I'm so excited to be here. Um, thank you, Dr. Abdullah for doing this. And um, I'm just really, really excited uh, to be a part of this. So thank you very much. Thank you, Tanya. And then Hannah. Hi, everyone. I'm Tanya, and she, her, and I'm a co-conspirator of Molina's at Cal State LA. And uh, it's been a long For a journey. long time. A long time, and we're still here. <laughs> and um, I have never read Bell Hooks. So what an amazing opportunity to delve into this work with you, Melina, and all, all, all of you here in this space. So thank you so very much. Yes, and we are gonna lift up the spirit of Kelly Madison as, as we engage in this, yes? Um, who's our longtime friend and beloved um, now ancestor who Tanya and I are both friends with who we lost a few years ago. Um, Hannah and then Jara, is it Jara? Hi everyone, um, I'm so grateful to be here. My name's Hannah and I use she, her pronouns. I go to the Ohio State University. So I'm on the land of the Kaskaskia and the Shawnee. Um, I'm a computer science and sociology major. So I just finished all my sociology classes and I have been just wanting to grow in my knowledge and like learning. Um, and I follow Dr. Molina on social media. So I just was really excited to be a part of the space. Great. Jara and then Ireri. Hi, everybody. My name is Jara Tavares. Uh, my pronouns are she, her. I'm joining from Atlanta, Georgia. I had had the opportunity to read Bell Hooks um, earlier this year and just completely fell in love. And I had also heard um, Dr. Abdullah speak in uh, several platforms. So I'm just so excited to dive deep into these. Thank you. Thank you, Irari and Ayana, then Ayana. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Irari. Um, I'm calling from Pawtucket, uh, Massachusetts, Penacook, and Agawam lands, other one, otherwise known as uh, so-called Massachusetts. Uh, my pronouns are she and her, and um, I'm looking forward to sharing space with you all. Uh, I was formerly at Cal State LA, um, have shared space with uh, Dr. Abdullah, and I'm looking forward to um, reading and engaging with um, Black feminist thought and um, yeah, learning from you all. Thank you. Ayana, is that Ayana? I know. Yes, Dr. Abdullah. Peace. Oh my goodness. I am so happy to be here. It is so good to see you. You know, I respect you. I'm a fan of your work. You are dope. Thank you for everything. Everything. Oh, so glad to you see your you. Community. Yes, it's so good to see you. Yes. Hi, everyone. Peace. My name is Ayana. I had the honor of uh, taking Dr. Abdullah's class at Cal State LA. And my pronouns are she, her. And I'm new to Bell Hook's work. And um, I'm just looking forward to this course. I know Dr. Abdullah is going to do her thing. And I'm happy to be here. And peace to everybody. Love and light. So happy to see you. It's been a minute. 
So Vigil, Vigil and then Zara. Hi, um, I am Vigil Desai Ramirez calling in from unceded Tongva land. I have a cold, so I'm off camera in my pajamas and muted. Um, my pronouns are she, her, and they, them. Um, and I am here doing my own liberation work, um, but also um, I work with organizations and help them think through what this looks like and practicing their work on a human level um, as well. And so um, I am committed to anti-oppression love and accountability and that is for myself as well as others and so that's that's why i'm here yay thank you for joining us zara and then parvati hi uh, my name is zara khan uh, my pronouns are she her and i'm on tonga land um i guess i consider myself a lifelong feminist but when i first moved um, to canada as a teenager and then later the u.s it took me a while to get into feminism here because what i now recognize is that what i was mostly hearing was like, like white feminism around me and it really didn't resonate um so i've been exploring other types of feminism like islamic feminism and um, intersectional feminism for the last few years and i wanted to learn um uh, more through this class about Black feminism and womanism. Um, and also I've been um, hearing about bell hooks in the disability justice world. And uh, as you can see, I'm lying down because I have a disability myself. Um, and so that's something that I'm really looking forward to connecting with her work through that angle as well. Beautiful. And Parvati and then Ryan. Hello, uh, my name is Parvati and I go by she they pronouns. I'm in uh, calling in from Minnesota, which is actually um, Ojibwe, Dakota, and Chippewa uh, lands. And uh, I've been following Dr. Abdullah for many years through uh, BLM LA uh, network on social media and uh, been part of different kinds of organizing here in the Twin Cities and really admire Dr. Abdullah and her work. And, um, and I have read Bell Hooks many years ago, but really looking forward to uh, deepening my understanding of Black feminism and Bell Hooks. And so just really inspired by the space that we have here and looking forward to the eight weeks. Ashe. Thank you. Ashe. Ryan and then Leslie. Hi, everyone. I'm Ryan. Uh, really grateful to be here. He, him on unsettled Tongan land. Um, I finished Teach the Transgress recently, so I was really excited to hear about this. And I learned why my children's public school was why it was um, a lot through that book. I also teach breathwork meditation and we do land acknowledgments. So I'm learning more about how to incorporate the land and the work that I do. So really excited to be here. Thanks, everyone. Ashe. Leslie and then Monique. Hello, uh, my name is Leslie, pronouns she, her. Um, I live in Northern California and um, right now I'm on Great and Rancheria and Southern Pomo land. Um, I'm actually a student at SFSU and I'm studying public health. Um, I'm also part of an abolitionist student group and we're trying to implement abolition as part of the public health curriculum. and. I know that abolition, true abolition doesn't exist without feminism. And so I've just been trying to learn about um, the black women who have paved the way. And my friend posted this on her social media. I jumped at the chance. Glad to have you. Monique and then Maya. Hi everyone, I'm Monique, uh, she, her. Um, I'm on Tongva land. Um, I'm a grad student at UC Irvine. I also um, have been following Dr. Abdullah for a long time. Um, I've been sort of having to grapple with um, bell hooks independently. So I'm just really excited to, to be here and uh, be able to, to do that within a community. So thank you. Yes, Maya and then Jess. 
Oh, goodness. Hello, everybody. My name is Maya May. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm very happy to be here. I am on Tongva land. And um, why I am here, I'm a student of ethnic study and Casey Patterson connected to me to the course. And Dr. Abdullah, I'm very excited to learn from you and just share the space. Um, how, why I am here. I would like to be, I'm a student of ethnic studies and I would also like to be a lifelong student of Bell Hooks and continue learning about her work. And I'm hoping out of this, I get, I want deeper knowledge of self. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited to be here with you all and nice to you all. Thank you. Jess and then King. Uh, hi everybody. My name is Jess, um, pronouns they, them. I'm on unceded Tongva land out here in LA. Um, I'm a sociology undergrad student at Cal State Chico. Uh, so I'm online actually, and I'm a big fan of Dr. Molina. <laughs> um, follow her on Instagram, and that's how I heard about this course. And uh, I just thought it sounded really interesting and like a, a great way for me to supplement my education. So thank you for having me. Thank you, Keen, and then Kimberly. Hey, I'm Keen. Uh, you see they pronouns. Um, I'm on unceded Ojibwe land um, in Chicago. Um, I'm a former um, SJP partner and I'm an educator and community organizer and I'm just very honored to be in this space and learn and listen and do this work with you all. Shay, Kimberly and then Yvonne. She's unable to unmute herself. Kimberly's unable to unmute themselves. Um, you wanna just type your intro into the chat and then we'll go Yvonne and then Jennifer. Greetings. Uh, good evening, everyone. This is Yvonne. I'm an organizer with the uh, LA Voice. It's a local um, organization here in LA, um, but I'm also Ebony's friend. And so she invited me um, and I'm um, in the book club that she was talking about. So we're reading All About Love. And um, yeah, the goal is always growth, growth and growth. Thank you. Yes. Kimberly, did we not go to you? Did we skip you? Are you, were you unable to unmute? Don't remember. Yeah, let's okay. Like Kimberly dropped in the chat. Okay. Teresa and then Talima. Uh, hi, I'm Teresa. I, um, my pronouns are she, her. I'm on Tongva land. Um, I'm the communications manager here at SJPLA um, and I'm here to learn. I'm excited to be a student again. It's been a while. All right. Talima and then Yolanda, you want to introduce yourself quickly? Peace, everyone. My name is Talima, and I am on Muskogee Creek land, unceded land. And I'm here because I used to do a lot of the work in Arizona, and I caused a lot of harm by being toddler-like. And so I figured this was the best way for me to try to get back into the work um, by doing it with love and doing it ethically. So I'm glad to be here. It feels good to be back in this type of space. Thank you. Yes. Yolanda, you want to go quickly? And then is that my Barbara Hoke? Yolanda. Can you see me? No. No? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like <laughs> doing tech stuff, making sure that people who registered a little late got registered. So a little frazzled. Let me look at the prompt and see what it is. Yolanda, I'm on the SJB team. Um, so happy that everyone is here. I'm on Tongva land and what brought me here was um, I've had books by Bell Hooks but really needed a community to really soak it up and so this was just perfect and I'm just so excited to really study the text and be in community with other people to just learn and apply. Because I know you're really good about that, Dr. Abdullah. Like, what are you going to do with this information? So I'm excited about that. That's right. That's right. Barbara Hoke. 
Yeah, that's me. It's my Barbara. It's I, this know. is my extended family. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Melina. And bless your heart. I love the connection between you and Bell Hooks, and I am anxious to learn, as always. So let me say this. Barbara Hoke lived three doors down from me when I was a little bitty girl, gave me my first job when I was old, walking her dog, Sheba, um, and has been an auntie to me all of my life, and I didn't know she was going to be here. So um, I'm a little emotional about seeing you here. So thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Melina. All right, is there anyone who did not introduce themselves? I didn't go yet. I can't see who said that. All right, this is Jennifer. Um, my name is Jennifer Busher. I use she, her pronouns. I'm also on Tongue land in Los Angeles. Um, as everybody else has said, this is just an amazing opportunity to learn from Dr. Abdul. Ago, I'm long overdue for a revisit, and the once again, the opportunity to do it in community with other people is just thank you, thank you very much. Ashe, and I saw Renee didn't introduce herself. Yes, that's me. Thank you for having me. I'm also too, just like Tanya, I have not um, read any bell hooks. And so I'm just, I'm so excited to be here. And just like everybody else, I follow Ms. Abdullah and I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you. And our pro bono family, Brianna, do you want to quickly introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Brianna. I live also on Tongva land, and I just love this work. Um, I'm a CODA, child of deaf adults. So this is my language. I'm here for language accessibility, and I love Melina. <laughs> oh, and I love you. And Avery's on too from our pro bono team. Hello everyone, my name is Avery. I'm excited to be here. I'm just honored because Dr. Abdullah, she's really just, she's just a legend and I'm just so happy. I've read the book before, but I didn't understand everything I was reading. So I'm happy I'm here to interpret with you all and I'm just excited. So thank you for having us. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Is there anyone else who didn't go? And I want to just say I'm so grateful to Pro Bono ASL. Um, we began working together, I guess it's been about two years now, and um, we're always in the process of evolving and growing, and Pro Bono team has really taught me the importance of language justice. And so very, very grateful um, for the way you always show up, because the way they started showing up was just we were having protests and next thing you know, there'd be somebody next to me translating. And it was great. And we um, have learned the importance of language justice um, and it's really expanded and helped shape the way that we struggle for justice, that I struggle for justice in this world. So um, very grateful to the pro bono team. Anyone else who didn't introduce themselves? All right, I don't see anybody. And yes, grateful to Vidman for captioning. Um, who hello. I have. Yes, who's yes. saying hello? Hi, my name is Lanisha Smith and I am on Tongan land. I also um, was invited by Ebony. We're in the book club also, and I just appreciate this lecture with you guys. Thank you, Lanesha. I don't know how I can't see your square. The squares keep moving on the screen for me. Is there anybody else who didn't introduce themselves? Vidman is, um, somebody's typing in the chat for Vidman. Thank you again, Vidman. Do you want to say anything or? Thank you. I just unmuted myself and I'm, and, oh, I'm sorry. I trying to undo the okay. screen, just to say hello, <laughs> just to say hello and keep typing. I'm Laquita. 
with Vivian Barber. Hi, Vivian. Thank you. Nice <laughs> to see you. Um, anybody else? All right. So listen, I didn't expect the whole class to be getting to know each other. Um, but if we're okay with it, we'll go just a few minutes over just for tonight. I promise to honor your time and end promptly at eight um, on other days. But if you have to hop off, I'll understand. I'm going to very quickly introduce myself and talk about how I first came to know Bell Hooks. So again, my name is Melina Abdullah. I'll be facilitating this class. This is meant to be a collective experience. So this is a journey into our intellectual tradition, which is tied to everything else. Intellectualism in the words of Bell Hooks is supposed to be a tool to liberation. It's not meant to be something that we do because we have the privilege of doing it. So there's a difference between academic space and intellectual space. This is intellectual space. So we can hone tools just like we hone spiritual tools, just like we hone physical tools, just like we hone other organizing tools. This is intellectual tools that we are developing so that we can use them for the liberation of our people, so that we can use them for the liberation of our people. I plan to tell you a little bit of a lengthy story, but I'll try to summarize it very quickly, um, which is that I first came to know Bell Hooks when I was in graduate school and I moved to Los Angeles um, to go to USC um, for graduate school. And as I was studying political science, there were very few women and there were very few people of color in this PhD program in political science, which is traditionally a very white male space. Um, and I was walking out of class and one of my um, dearest white girlfriends, her name is Gail Anglin, um, as we were walking out of class, she said, yeah, so for us feminists, and I didn't even let her get the rest of the sentence out. And I said, uh -uh, I ain't no damn feminist. I want a man to open the door for me, right? And <laughs> she looked at me and I thought I wasn't a feminist because in my mind, all I knew of feminists is that they were white women who didn't wear bras, didn't shave their underarms and wanted to pay for their dinner and open their own doors. And I didn't wanna do any of those things. So I wasn't a feminist, right? And thankfully in that very same class, we were assigned the book, Feminism is for Everybody. Feminism is for Everybody. And it's a little short book, almost just, you know, the length of a long pamphlet. And I was gonna actually assign it for this class, but then I felt like in eight weeks, um, we can really only do two books justice. And so I'm gonna strongly recommend that you pick up Feminism is for Everybody. I'm gonna also strongly recommend that you pick up Killing Rage, Ending Racism. But the books that we're gonna deeply dive into for the class are All About Love, we'll start with this next week. Um, and then we'll get into Teaching to Transgress. But I'm gonna pull from those other texts Bell Hooks wrote 34 books and countless articles, gave countless lectures. And so we pray that this class is an honoring of her. What I love about Bell Hooks is that she succinctly defines feminism as, um, I would pull up a slide, but that'll take some minutes, um, succinctly defines feminism as, quote, a movement to end sexism and sexist depression a movement to end sexism and sexist depression. And so as I read through Feminism is for Everybody, I realized it's not about paying for my own dinner and opening my own doors. It's about toppling a system of sexism which places men on top and women on the bottom. And that is something I can commit to doing, right? I also want us to recognize that as brilliant as Bell Hooks is, she's also a human being and now a spirit being. And what I love is being able to really talk to her, right? 
her work is written in such a way where we don't just have to digest and accept, but we can engage in conversation with what she says. Where I'm left with feminism is for everybody is yes, feminism is for everybody. And I would add feminism is not enough, right? So for me as a black woman, I don't just see my liberation as coming through ending sexism and sexist depression as an intersectional being. I have to work to topple every single system of oppression. I have to work to topple the system of sexism and sexist depression and also racism and racist depression and also classism and classist depression and also heterosexism and also transphobia and also all of the other oppressions as we think about this period of Ramadan and thank you Shabana for wishing us all Ramadan Mubarak, I say Ramadan and Kareem, that it's important that we topple Islamophobia, right? It's important that as we think about systems that build out of these other systems, I'm coming at you now, not from unceded Tongva land, but actually from Lansing, Michigan. And I need to look up whose land this is, but this is the space where we're fighting in the name of brother Patrick um, Leoya who was murdered at the hands of an unnamed Grand Rapids police um, killer cop, right? Who was murdered on April 4th. And it's important that we understand that our struggle for justice is not just the conceptual frameworks, but the actual institutions and systems that were designed to steal our bodies and steal our lives and assail our spirits. And so in studying bell hooks and in teaching bell hooks, what we're doing is exploring these intellectual tools and also remembering that our intellectual tools are tied to our spiritual tools and all of this required revolution, the required revolution of toppling um, white supremacist, patriarchal, heteronormative capitalism also means tangibly toppling systems and institutions like policing, like prisons, like jails. It means transforming a system of education into a liberatory one. Um, and it also means building this revolution that we're building, that we're investing ourselves in, in what revolution actually comes from, which is deep, deep love for our people, for ourselves, and hope and understanding and consciousness that we can build a world that's fit for in the inhabitants of future generations. And so that's what we will seek to do every single week, um, to build a revolution that's rooted in love. There will be some calls to action. I'm so glad that so many of you are on Tongva land because you know, we gonna call you out and say, look, we need your body to show up at 4 p.m. on uh, Wednesdays, right? We gonna need you to help us chant down Babylon and make this police protective league fall, right? We're gonna need you to say the name Patrick Leoya. We're gonna need you to say the name Waukesha Wilson. And we're also gonna need you to struggle in their honor, to struggle in their honor, to put your bodies, your voices, and your resources all on the line for the purpose of revolution, which means not just reforming an unjust world, but transforming the world into, again, one that's fit for the inhabitants of our children and future generations. And so I'm a few minutes over time. I'm sorry about that, but I'll um, pause there. Um, I think everyone has access to the syllabus we're gonna start by reading the first five chapters of All About Love. And so um, on Thursday, and Yolanda is dropping in the chat that the syllabus and course materials are in, um, are available online. So please make sure you review that syllabus. I did decide deliberately to take us through a slower reading than what I wanted to do, because I wanted to, again, at least assign four books. But I think that 
it's more important to be deliberate. And so we're going to take a, ourselves through a slower reading, first of all, about love. So by next Thursday, we will have read the first five chapters. We're going to delve into that conversation. Um, and Bakita, if you see Andrew, tell him to hop on this Zoom. It's free for Prairie View students. Tell him he inspired me to ditch one book and do all about love. The last thing I'll say is, you know, I think we should always be open to the way that spirit speaks to us. Um, there's a young brother named Andrew, who's a student at Prairie View. And um, the visit before last I had to Prairie View, my February visit, um, it was Andrew, a young black man who is one of the most brilliant and open students I've ever met, um, talked about how all, all about love changed his life and um, caused him to embrace feminism and really examine how to um, challenge the toxic masculinity within himself. Um, for me, um, rereading all about love has already, um, just in prepping for this class, and I read it before, I'm really challenged who I am as a parent. Um, I've uh, really kind of committed myself to demonstrating love and I'm giving you a preview of next week's lecture, but thinking about love as a verb and something that we do and um, consciously engaging in relationships. Um, and so I hope that you'll not only read it over the next week, read the first five chapters, but also incorporate those lessons and we'll start next week just with a few of you, not all of you, but with a few of you talking about how you have demonstrated love, lived love in your lives and how that's revolutionary. So with that, I'm gonna stop it here and apologize for the extra 10 minutes and um, pray that we move forward in a way that really does usher in revolution because our world desperately needs it. Anything else, Allie, before we close out? You want to say anything as we close out? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Abdullah, for this. Um, I can't even tell you how many times I was in tears listening to everybody share um, this book. As a meditation teacher outside of SJP, this book has been foundational in my work. And to be talking about this with Melina, who I just uh, look up to in so many ways, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, a couple of quick things. So I want to also remind you, uh, Dr. Melina already, uh, Dr. Blue already said, the course hub, which is on the website, you'll be able to find the syllabus. Yolanda linked it in the chat already. So make sure you pull that up, look at all the books, look at everything that's there. If you have any questions, you can email us at info at sjpla.org. You'll be able to find the email on there. So um, Michelle or Yolanda or myself will get back to you on that. And then I, I realized at the beginning, I didn't even talk about who SJP is, but <laughs> SJP, we invest in and expand and connect communities advancing racial and social justice. Um, and we can really connect folks um, and um, we, 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 create, we connect people creating systems and, and community care and well-being uh, for, for folks here in, in, in Los Angeles, uh, um, the city of Atlanta, Tongva, but we also, yeah, clearly are connecting all over the place. So um, I'm excited to be here. Dr. Jula, thank you so much. It is an honor to be learning with you and from you. Um, and I look forward to seeing all of you again next week. Thank you all. Good night, thank you. Very exciting. Thank you. Good night, thank you everyone.